Cal! Cal, where are you? Cal! Oh, Cal, you're right here. Yes, McQueen, I'm here. Now, what do you want? Okay, so basically, bring your uncle and yourself to the RSN news station by the track. And why is that? Because Chick has an important announcement to make. Hurry up. Go fast, fast. Yeah, McQueen, I get it. Okay, then, go. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, how am I late? So are you guys ready for the big announcement? Uh, just get on with it, chick. Well, I'm becoming a movie star! And you guys, I guess, too. Wait a minute, say that again? Yep, they're making a whole movie based on the tiebreaker race at Los Angeles. Aren't you guys excited? They have a whole cast of our characters, including me, you, you, I don't know about you. Actually, look, look outside, they're practicing right now. <laughs> Oh, so cool being McQueen, even though I'm not actually a McQueen. <laughs> What's that? Kachiga, 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 kachiga. Woohoo, I'm chick. <laughs> oh, it's so cool being the king. I'm even Western. Yeehaw. <laughs> um, okay, chick, that's pretty cool, right? And you even got a stun double for this guy's crash. So it won't hurt when I tumble over, right? Yeah, just leave it to me. Well, I'm off to help. See you guys! Kachiga, kachiga, kachik, kachik, kachik. So we all admit they look nothing like us, right? Yeah, but I mean, it's close enough, honestly. Hey, wait a minute, where's my actor? Whoa, okay guys, I'm here, so uh, fill me in, won't you? Oh, uh, you, 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 tell me what's going on. Um, aren't you supposed to be in the end credits? Sheesh, you're coming in way too early, man. Oh, I I'll do that, I'll do that too! Hey guys, what is up? This is Araki here, back again to catch review, and this time I'm going to be reviewing the Thailand variants of the original trio from the first Cars movie, Lightning McQueen, Chick Hicks, and The King. But before I start the review, I might as well give a shout out to Piston Cup Productions for doing the whole Thailand versus China thing before me. All I want to do is to point out the differences in the Thailand and China diecast, so since they did that before me, might as well shout them out. Okay, so now on with the show, finally we do have all the Thailand variants for the trio of the first Cars movie. Of course, if you guys do not know who these guys are, rewatch the first Cars movie to find out. Ha, <laughs> just kidding. You guys should already know who these guys are. The trio of racers who keep on winning races in the Piston Cup and eventually have to race each other in the tiebreaker race at the Los Angeles Speedway. But anyways, onto their releases. Lightning McQueen's Thailand variant came out around the first few Thailand cases that were pouring in in 2018. He was then re-released twice in a two-pack with Dexter Hoover, both on the Desert and Blue Desert cardbacks. And as for the King and Chick Hicks, their Thailand variants were released when the Blue Desert art cases were coming into store shelves. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't really have much to talk about. Oh yeah, actually, the packaging of the Talon McQueen is gone because I already unboxed him. He's actually right here in between these two, so yeah, if you guys were wondering. But anyways, now let's get on to their packaging, so let me just turn on my flashlight right here, get rid of these loose cards, and let's start off with the King right here. So as you can see, he looks really, really nice, and the card art is very, very huge. Dynaco 400 series, of course, and then a little card logo on the right. Here he is in the package, and then the white name tag with the little red streak on top. The back shows off an image of the Motor Speedway of the South with all the races racing against each other. And then, of course, the King is a part of the Dynaco 400. The bio reads, after the Dynaco 400, a tiebreaker race is needed to determine the winner of the Piston Cup. And then the releases on the bottom are Chick Hicks, the King, James Cleaner, and, uh, Kevin Racing Tire, I'm pretty sure. Next up. Chick Hicks. So here we have him and his little big card art right here. Why did I say a little? It's very, very big actually. Danico 400 series, a little cars logo. Here he is in the package and then the little white name tag. The back is the exact same as the King's back. As you can see right here, literally nothing different right there. So now, let's get on to their unboxing right here. The two, I guess, rivals of the Piston Cup, although McQueen kind of counts. I'm not sure, but anyways, let's get on to their unboxing. Okay, well, I don't know. I, I mean, they look good. I mean, for Thailand standards, but... Hmm, I don't really know. Is this trio really better than the ones from China? Notable differences, the eye plates, the color. I mean, the king and chick are lighter than their original ones. And then McQueen, well, he has a mouth, a painted mouth, so... 
That's pretty good, but then, I don't know, the expressions look a bit off. Honestly, I really have no idea how to tell if these are better or worse. Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's review them all. So, Muwe Chick, Muwe King, and let me bring down the China variant of McQueen. And let's get on to reviewing the Talon variant right here. So, let's get started. So, here we have McQueen. He has a very different eye expression, of course, because of the eye plate. Compared to the original, as you can see, if my camera can start focusing right there, as you can see. And then the Rusty logo even looks different. The mouth is now painted a bit black for the inside, while on the previous one, on the China one, uh, it was all red. Okay, so about the rims, I really don't know where I stand with them. I mean, the Thailand ones are way, way more of a red than the other ones, because they were more like of a maroon color, but... I mean, the Thailand ones have a bit of treading around them that's really, really unnecessary, as you can see right there, on the inside of the rims. And then also the light your text on the um, light your tires are actually popping out. Like if you scratch on them, you can feel like the light your text on them, which is weird. I, I don't know how I feel about that, but I think I'm gonna have to give it to Thailand on this one because it's redder. So I guess that's good. Okay, for reference, Thailand on the bottom, China on top, and well, okay, I see why people don't like Thailand that much. I mean, the decals are way too blurry on the sponsors. You can't really read them at all. And then the bolt is more faded than the one on China. But, I mean, I, I I really have no way to, I guess, disprove it. I mean, it's just bad on the sides. And then over here in the back, the orange is not even orange anymore. It's just more of a faded orange, which is bad. Going on to the back right here, the window bars and the windows in general look the same. The top right here, uh, this one looks more saturated. I like that. And then on the back, uh... Okay, so here we have more spacing for the letters, which is okay, although I wish it was more of a yellow color. But, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I like it or not. But the expression definitely does, I guess, kind of judge if it's a better or worse release. Overall, I have to say, the winner is the custom that Full Wheel Drive made me. I mean, look at this. It looks so nice. It has rubber tires. It has the, the yellow treading around the rims. Even He even did the little rivets right there. It looks really nice, then. Oh, okay, I, I'm, I'm kidding. But, I mean, look at this. It looks really nice. I like I like a Full Wheel Drive's custom way better than these two. But, okay, so the winner between these two, I have to say China, unfortunately. The side decals are way too washed out. And, well, even though the mouthing is better, well, the eyes are terrible. I hate the eyes so much. It makes it look like a China Factory custom, which is terrible. I mean, even then, I've seen customs that are way, way better in expressions. As for team members that I can compare them to, well, there aren't much. I mean, the townies don't really count since they don't have the Rusty's paint job. I have Mac, which is one of the Precision Series, by the way. And then I also do have the Rusty's Pity. My name's not Chuck. I have to say, the color on the Thailand one does suit the Rusty's team a bit more since it's more saturated, but just the decals that ruin it all. So now, Moving these guys all out of the way, let's bring in Team Chick X right here. Boom, boom, and boom, even the tool cart. And then here we have Chick X and his Thailand variant. So let's get on to reviewing this guy, as you can see right here. Noticeable eye plate. The eyes are a bit too close together, but then again, they've always been right here, as you can see. The hostile rubber bank, the same as the one from the previous one. And then the mouth and grill. Looks really nice. I wish they gave him a little bit of a smile there, though. It kind of looks weird like that, but it's fine. Then the headlights, I guess, or not really headlights, I guess. More of stickers or plating. Looks, um, well, I like the one, the China one, way better. I mean, look at this 86. Come on, Thailand. Do you really want to beat your competition? From the rims alone, can you tell which one's Thailand and which one's China? If you guess the left one, Thailand, and the right one, China, you are right. And unfortunately, I mean, they look practically the same, but there's one big issue with the Thailand one. And that's, again, the little treading that they do. It's very, very unnecessary. You can see it right there on the inside of the rim. It looks really, really nasty. I mean, it looks like he has a bunch of gunk in him, and it just looks really, really unprofessional. So remember what I said about Thailand having a bunch of blurry decals and the sponsors are all wrong? Well, what do you have when you have a car full of sponsors? You have a blurry car. And it looks very, very nasty and unprofessional. It doesn't look really good at all. Let me take out the China one right here. And you can tell right here. Look at that. It doesn't look good. But I do like the color of him. Like, it's a lighter shade of green, which, honestly, I do like. It's more appeasing to the eyes. But still, it does not make up for the uh, China one having better sponsors than the actual upgraded one or supposedly upgraded one. But, I mean, the 86 looks pretty nice, I guess. I mean, it's okay. Let's look at the top right here, the roof. 
86 looks practically the same, although the yellow looks a bit more faded on this one. And whoa, you guys can feel the sponsors on this one. If you rub your fingers around this whole car, you can feel all the sponsors individually. Which is cool, but weird, I guess. Windows are practically the same on both of them, so nothing really too different there. And then on the back, Hostagora Bank, and then the sponsors right there. Although the sponsors look a bit smaller now on the new one, which I guess is more appeasing so that way you can see the color better, but even then, I don't know. Okay, so here's my final tally. So, Thailand definitely wins in the coloring of Chikix, although it's not too movie accurate, but it does make it more appeasing to the eye. But does it win in the decals? No, not at all. But in the end, who does look better with the team? Well, both of them are kind of bad because the original is too dark for the team, while the other one's too light. But I have to say that the one for Thailand does look a bit more appeasing next to the Crew Chief and Pity, so... Overall, I think that Thailand does win, even though the sponsors are very, very blurry. They made them a bit more smaller now, which does make the paint job a bit more appeasing. And overall, I think it's an upgrade, although not too much of an upgrade. And then moving aside the team as well, I do have some other versions of Chick Kicks that I can compare with the um, Thailand and the China one. So let me just put these guys back. And let me just bring out the one that was released for the scavenger hunt, the Chick Kicks with Retires, the one from Cars 3, and then also the Chick Kicks with Headsets, so here we have it. The scavenger hunt Chick Kicks does look a bit smaller than the other ones, but besides that, I mean, I have to say this. My least favorite Chick Kicks has to be the one with the headset, not because of the headset, but because like the shading is all wrong, it looks terrible. Third, we'll have to go to the original one because, well, I think the shading of green is way too dark for the team. Then, I think second, we'll have to go to the Talon one since it does upgrade on the colors, but it does downgrade on the decals. And then first has to go to the scavenger on chick because, well, it's a bit thinner and it does look very, very appeasing with all the chick -Hicks sponsoring. So that is it for chick -Hicks. Let me just move these guys aside right here. And now, here is Strip, a.k.a. The King Weathers, along with the Thailand variant. Let me also bring out Team Dynaco as well. Here we have Dynaco Crew Chief, also the Pity, and then the Tool Cart. Where, where can I put it? There we go. And there we have it. So, noticeable differences right off the bat. The expression looks phenomenal. I mean, look at that expression. It looks way, way better than the original one, as you can see. He has actual pupils and eyes instead of just being kind of dull and hollow. And then the hood right here, the, the sponsor, or Dynaco, I guess, Dynaco logo, is way, way more saturated of a blue, or not blue, in color. And it just looks overall very, very nice. He has a more confident smile than the original one, as you can see, because this one looks kind of more scared, I guess, or worried. And then look at the 43 right here on the hood. It looks very, very nice, and it has the outline around it, finally. I think the rims are the only negative aspect of the King. I mean, look at the rims. They don't look uh, silver at all, just gray. And you can see all the grainy features of that, which is pretty bad, although the light ear text is also bolted as well, but... I mean, overall, the rims and tires don't look too good alongside the ones from China. Wow, I mean just wow. Look at the side of the Thailand variant and tell me that it does not look better than the original one. It looks amazing. So let me just start off from the front right here. As you can see, the sponsors no longer have that white background behind them and they are now professionally done on the King. It looks way better, although it's a bit grainy, but I can pass on that. And then the 43 right here looks very nice because now the 43 has shrunk and it makes a lot more space for the blue right there to show. And then the Dynaco logo. The Dynaco logo looks way better on the side right now because of the orange and the spacing on the letters right there. Overall, the side is an 100% upgrade for me. Here's something that surprised me. When they unboxed this car, the windows are now gray, fully gray, both on the back and on the side windows. And then the window bars are actually thicker now, which is pretty good, and I think that's movie accurate, actually. And then the number 43 did not change at all from the back. The spoiler remains the same. And then the back right here, Dynaco 43. The 43 looks way, 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 way better than the one on the original. And then the bumper, sadly, is not sort of silver, but, I mean, I can get past that. Look at this. And then the expression... Oh my gosh, it's an 100% pass for me on Thailand. I mean, it's it's amazing. I mean, don't pass this up. It's it's. It, I mean, like, pass, like, passing grade. Like, it, it's really, really good. I didn't mean, like, don't, like... Okay, you guys know what I mean. Buy this when you find this in stores. It's an 100% upgrade from the original one. All right, now to the big question. Does it fit well with the team? Well, no. And yes. No, because it does not fit well with the team from the four pack back in the day. I mean, the colors are completely wrong. Look at that. It doesn't look too good at all. But it does fit well with the team from 
or I guess that were released in that one two pack in 20, I think 18, yeah, 2018. In 2018, look at that. The lighter shade of blue does complement the one from the Thailand release very, very nicely. So that will be all for this review. Let me just push you guys out of the way and let me bring in the rest of the Thailand variants right here. Here we have Chick Kicks and then McQueen. There we go, I found them. Sorry about that. But yeah, here we have them. All the Thailand variants here we have on the back. The Danica teams, I guess I can put the regular, or not the regular, the I guess the lighter blue Danica Crucci back there. Here's a lighter blue Danica Pity and then the wider Pity. And then also the regular um, releases. Here we have the China Chick Kicks, China the King. And then the McQueen right here, which I have literally no space to put him in. Uh, okay, so how about this? I can put them here, right here. Talent variants in the middle. And then the talent variant on the top, I guess. Uh, and then the regular McQueen here. How about that? And I think I moved my camera a bit. Uh, there we go. That looks way better. I'm going to move this back a bit. Here we have it. All the Thailand variants and the China variants together. Honestly, I am very, very glad that Mattel did pump out these cars when they did. I mean, now we have the trio of racers from Thailand and China. But now the final score. So, Thailand lost in the McQueen, so that's one for China. But then they won, but barely, on the Chick Kicks. And now they won completely with the King. So that's two to one, which means Thailand overall on the trio does win. I do prefer the Thailand versions of the trio way, way, way more than the original ones. Although they are iconic, step out of the way. Here is the new generation, and I mean, it looks fine. I don't really care. It doesn't look too bad, so honestly, I'm fine with these guys taking over. So... That'll be it for me. Thank you all so much for watching this review. Hope you guys did enjoy and did learn a thing or two about the Thailand and China variant debate. Since you have made it to the end of the video, I guess now you can make the decision of buying the Thailand variant or not. But in my personal opinion, the best out of all of these guys has to be the King. The King looks the best and has the best upgrades overall. So if you guys find the King in stores, definitely buy him. I'd be a bit iffy on Chick and i say eh, maybe not for the Queen if you're trying to save up my money. So that's pretty much it. I have nothing much else to say. So thank you guys all yet again for watching. And this is Little Harky saying peace.